Hello students, welcome back. Before going over to the next question, I'd like to request you to go through the playlist featuring the previous year's solved physics numerical board questions. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. I'm sure it will help you a lot while preparing for your exams. Please do check out all the questions and make sure that you practice all of them before going to the exam. Let's take up the next question. It's a question from electricity and it's a circuit diagram based question. There are five resistors having different values and we'll have to find out the ammeter reading when the circuit is closed. So though this is a complicated looking circuit, yet it's very simple. We'll solve it using the OTC method, which I had discussed in my previous video, that is open the circuit method. If you haven't checked the video, you can check it out. I'll place the link of the video in the description box. So now let's start. We will start by opening this circuit into a simplified circuit which will make it easier for us to solve. We will do it by pulling apart the positive and the negative terminals in two opposite directions and straightening the combination which looks like a triangle. So let's start with the positive terminal. So if this is my positive terminal. From positive terminal, a wire bends and goes and is connected to one end of a resistor R4. So, this is my resistor R4 whose value is 0 0.5 ohm. Next, on the other end of the resistor at the point D. So, this is the other end of the resistor and this is point D. What happens at point D? You see here, there are two wires branching out, one going to R1, another one going to R3. So, let me make two branches over here. One is R1, which is 3 ohm. This is R1, which is 3 ohm. And another branch is R3. So, this is R3, which is again 3 ohm. Now, the other end of the resistor R1 at the point C, it is not branching, rather it is bending over here. So, instead of this bending, if I straighten it, it will be a straight line and the other end of this wire is connected to R2. So, if you observe carefully, you see that this R1 and R2, they are in series with each other, right? So, R1, the other end wire is bending at C. There is no branching. So, it is a series connection. So, R1 and R2 are in series. So, let me draw it over here. This is R2 which is again 3 ohm. Right? Now, come to this part. Now, one end of R3 is connected to the point D. The other end of R3 is at the point E. Okay? So, this is my point E. Let me draw this as point E. Now, to the point E, the other end of R2 is coming and attaching. Right? So, R2 is this. The other end of R2 is coming and attaching over. This point E is the point where the two branches meet. Got it? Then, at the point E, the wire is now connected to one end of R5. So, this is R5 whose value is 0 0.5 ohm, right? Now, again you see the other end of R5 at the point B, it is bending, there is no branching. So, it is in series with the switch over here. So, at this point here, it is point B, okay? This is point B, here is our point C and here is our point B. A. So, at the point B, the wire is bending and is connected to one end of the switch. The other end of the switch is connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter. So, this is the ammeter, this is the positive terminal. Negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. Got it? So, this is the simplified version of this circuit diagram after we open the circuit and the potential difference between this and this is 3 volt. It is given the positive and the negative terminal is 3 volt. Now, we will solve it to find out the current value. 
so first let us solve the branched part of the circuit so first we will solve the branched part that is this part again if in the branched part as i have said earlier there are two resistors in series first we'll have to solve the resistors which are connected in series so r s is the resistors in series which is r1 plus r2 so it is 3 ohm plus 3 ohm which is 6 ohm so r s so the equivalent resistance of this part is 6 ohm okay now this r s which is 6 ohm it is in parallel with r3 which is 3 ohm so now we have to solve this branched part so let me write r p r p means the parallel circuit so the formula is 1 by r p is 1 by r s plus 1 by r3 r s we got it as 6 and r3 is 3 so the lcm is 6 it is 1 plus 2 which is 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 so r r p will be 2 ohm this one so the equivalent resistance of this circuit which is in parallel or rather this branched parallel circuit is 2 ohm so now we have three resistors r4 r p and r5 which are in series so r equivalent if i write it would be r4 plus rp plus r5 r4 is given as 0.5 rp we got it as 2 ohm and r5 is given as 0.5 ohm so we get r equivalent as 3 ohm so this is the equivalent resistance of this entire circuit so did you see now how easy it is to solve these type of complicated looking circuits simply by opening the circuit you will just have to pull apart the positive and the negative terminal into a straight line and then see where the circuit is branching and where it is only bending accordingly draw a simplified linear diagram of this circuit and you will have the easier circuit in front of you which you can solve accurately so now that we have the equivalent resistance the question asked is to find out the ammeter reading so let's find out the ammeter reading using ohm's law so we have the potential difference given as 3 volt and we found out the equivalent resistance of the circuit is 3 ohm from ohm's law v is equal to ir so i will be v by r that is 3 by 3 that is 1 so current is 1 ampere so this is the solution to our question so i hope you have understood this now and i'm sure you can now solve easily these type of circuit diagram based question if they come in the exam if this video was helpful to you please like this video share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel request you to please subscribe to the channel if you have any queries or questions which you want me to answer please mention it in the comment box thanks for watching